Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. As always, I'm filming today's video on Monday and as you can see, I'm taking a walk. I am not at boot camp this morning because I have an injury and I'll fill you guys in a little bit later this morning on my injury itself. Since my injury on Friday, that was the last time I worked out and I really felt like I wanted to just get out and take a walk. Even if I'm a little slower than normal, I wanted to get out and take a walk this morning. So I'll fill you guys in on exactly what happened as far as my injury goes, but it's such a nice morning. I had to get out and take a little walk. And of course, wanted to welcome you to today's video. I did have my protein coffee this morning, finished that, did a little bit of work on my computer. I'm feeling a little hungry. So when I get home from my walk, I think I'm going to go ahead and make some breakfast get our day started, but I wanted to hop on and welcome you to today's What I Eat in a Day. Okay, I'm ready for the day. I'm hungry. I'm going to have some breakfast. First, I thought I'd show you guys my cute little sweatshirt that I'm wearing today. I bought this off of Shein. It was actually in my fall Shein try-on haul. I'll link that video down below, link the sweatshirt for you. Super affordable. It's a little bit more lightweight, which is perfect for Arizona fall. Super, super comfortable. I love the leopard sleeve. We know I love leopard everything. So I am going to make a yogurt bowl for breakfast and you know how much I love my yogurt bowls but I've discovered a new little concoction that I have been loving for fall. So you know the basis of my yogurt bowl is always non-fat plain yogurt. It doesn't really matter the brand. Right now I have this Nor Organic from, I think this came from Misfits Market. It is 100 calories for a serving and has 17 grams of protein. And then I always mix in a couple of whole earth sweetener packets for my sweetener. I shared a Black Forest one that I love that you guys have been saying that you love. So today we're gonna do an apple pie type of yogurt. So. I have the no sugar added apple pie filling. This is just the Walmart brand. And then I always add a little bit of granola for a crunch. And then for the whole apple pie vibe and to get in some healthy fat, I'm going to add some walnuts. So let's go ahead and put together my yogurt bowl. So I'm going to weigh out 150 grams of the yogurt. That is a serving. And then I like to mix in my two packets of whole earth sweetener. And then 85 grams of the apple pie filling is a serving, and that's only 30 calories. So I'm going to add 85 grams. So there you go, that's, a, that's 90 grams, close enough. That's quite a bit of the apple pie filling. And then I'm gonna zero it out and add 30 grams of granola. Right now I'm just using the member mark, Members Mark from Sam's Club. This is their honey almond. You can really use any granola that you want. And then I'm going to do 10 grams of walnuts. So I'm going to kind of break those up into a little bit smaller bits only because I want them to go a long way. We know that walnuts are pretty high in points and calories. So if you break them up really small, you'll get a little bit of walnut in every bite. And then I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of cinnamon on top, really bring out the whole apple pie flavor. So here is the apple pie yogurt bowl. Doesn't this look so good? We have lots of protein, healthy fats. We have a little bit of crunch, some carbs. So let's taste test, see if this is good. And you guys will have another really good yogurt bowl in your arsenal. Okay, cheers. So good. It tastes like apple pie. I had get the crunch of the apple, the cinnamon, the granola. Highly recommend the cinnamon. Those big chunks of apple pie filling, I'm just kind of breaking them up as I'm taking a bite. And the walnuts just give a nice crunch as well. 
10 out of 10 recommend. I'm really excited. If you follow me here, you know when I was selling real estate in Washington, I would always talk about how much I loved all the built-in bread boxes in the kitchens and how I wish I had one. But for some reason, we never purchased a house that had a bread box. Well, you guys also know my love for Good Pick. I have so many Good Pick products. I have their drawer organizer, their saran wrap or organizer, the floating shelves in my dining room, the baskets that I use for storage. And I was on their website and I saw that they had a large bread box and I about died. I was so excited. I immediately add to cart and ordered. It's only $38.99 and it is such a high quality bread box. It's 100% natural bamboo so it is perfect to fit under your cabinets. It's a two layer design so there's two different floors in the bread box so you get twice the storage. That was one thing I was really excited about. It was super super easy to put together. I did it by myself. I put the entire bread box together by myself in about 10 minutes. I also love that it has a transparent window so you can easily check your bread without having to open the door. It's perfect for baked bread, bagel scones, muffins, even potatoes. And like I said, super easy to assemble, super easy to clean. And again, it is on their website for only $38.99. I think it looks so nice on my countertop. I was able to put my bread that I eat on the top shelf, Troy's bread that he eats on the bottom shelf. That way it's just a little bit easier to keep things separated. The quality is impeccable for the price. I couldn't believe when it showed up in the box, the box was so heavy. It weighs about 10 pounds unassembled. And then I put it together and I couldn't believe how great the quality is of this bread box. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below for you. It's on the Good Pick website. While you're there, shop around. I own so many products from Good Pick and every single one of them, the quality is exceptional. This bread box did not disappoint. I absolutely love it. I'll link the bread box and the actual website over to Good Pick down below for you. But I'm so excited to finally have a bread box in my kitchen. <gasps> What's happening? <laughs> Go get him, Lola. Lola, get Palmer. Yeah, go get him. Palmer. Yeah, get him, Lola. Get him. Get Palmer. Yeah. Go, go. What, Lola? What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, lemon tree update. Kind of a sad lemon tree update, actually. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, pumpkin. So, it's been a little windy here. As it moves into fall, it gets a little bit more windy here. And all of the weight of these lemons, I mean, if you look at these, these are absolutely huge lemons. It's a lot of weight on this tree. And sadly, this last week, not one, but two, I don't know if you can see them there, of the big branches of the tree broke. Just shattered, fell off. So Troy ratchet strapped, which is actually a really smart idea. He ratchet strapped this big front branch onto our fence to try to hold it up, especially with the wind, because it is packed full of lemons. And if it breaks, that's the main part of our tree. So we have a call into our landscaper. We may, once this harvest is done, have to really trim this back. But I'll take you guys inside and show you all the lemons. Diesel. Do you want to show them the lemons? I'll show you guys all the lemons that I picked off of the branch of the tree after it broke. And then there's these two. Look at all of these. And I already took an entire grocery bag chocked full over to my neighbor. So I have that bowl. And then in my fruit bowl, I have a whole bunch more. And I've I've actually been putting the lemons in my water every day too, and I still have that many lemons. Now they're not ripe, but we Googled it and it said that they would continue to ripen even if they were still green. And they are, st I mean, they're really soft. I've been putting them in my water and it's been fine. So what I'm doing is allowing these to ripen and then when my in-laws come over on Sunday, for a little Halloween dinner. I'll give a whole bunch of these to my mother-in-law. So it was a sad day that the branch broke, but we were able to salvage a lot of the lemons. So like I said, I've just been putting them in my water. Speaking of water, I definitely need to get going on more water for the day. It's morning snack time. I am pretty hungry. I haven't been hungry the last few days because I haven't been feeling very well between my injury, my cold, I just haven't been very hungry, but today I am a little bit more hungry. And what sounds really good is my rice cake with nut butter. I don't know why, but that sounds like the perfect morning snack. So I've been using a caramel rice cake. I tried to get the Quaker ones, but my fries or my Kroger store was out of them. So I actually got the Kroger brand. I like these better. They're crispier and they're more caramely-er, if that's 
that's a word, so I'm gonna have one of those. And then, there are four brand new flavors of American Dream Nut Butter that just launched yesterday, and this is their homage to camping. So all four flavors have everything to do with camping. I have tried all four of these, and every one of them, it gets better and better. These launches get better and better from American Dream Nut Butter. I'll walk you guys through each of the different flavors. I'll pop up a picture here from when I opened it up and stirred it up so you can see what all the mix-ins and everything look like. But the first one is Pumpkin Spice Latte, and this is an almond butter. I love their peanut and their almond butters. You guys know that those are my favorite. I actually pulled up here on my phone the description so I can give you an accurate description. And again, I'll pop up pictures of what it looks like all mixed up how yummy it looks. So this is sweet and spicy pumpkin latte flavored almond butter topped with crushed gluten-free snickerdoodle cookies, cinnamon chips, and premium white chocolate chips. It is so good. It is incredibly good. It has that little undernote of coffee, lots of pumpkin spice flavor. You guys know I love pumpkin everything, so I was super excited about this one and it didn't disappoint. And the second almond butter that was released was Smorio. This is the first layered almond butter that they have put out. It is so good. So this one says honey graham flavored almond butter layered with Nutella core. Yes, Nutella core layered yet again with a chocolate marshmallow flavored almond butter topped with crushed gluten-free graham crackers, gluten-free chocolate cookies, and mini marshmallows. So it is like s'mores on steroids. I love that it's layered. I hope that American Dream Nut Butter continues to do these layered, these layered nut butters because every bite you get all of the yummy goodness of all the mix-ins. That one also incredible. And then there's the Hikers Hall Peanut Butter. I love their peanut butters. And this one I was excited about. It's creamy peanut butter topped with gluten-free granola, mini M&Ms, and chopped roasted peanuts. So it reminds me of a granola bar. And it's called Hikers Hall. So it's that whole granola bar vibe with the peanuts and the M&Ms. The perfect, perfect salty sweet. And then lastly, the cashew butter to the camping line is the Moose Tracks. And you guys know that the cashew butter is not my favorite. I much prefer the almond butter and peanut butter, but this one is is absolutely delicious and Moose Tracks is my favorite ice cream. So I was still excited when this was released. It says vanilla chip flavored cashew butter topped with peanut butter cups, thick indulgent fudge sauce, and mini peanut butter chips. It is peanut butter goodness. It has these little mini Reese's peanut butter cups that remind me so much of the ice cream. It just makes my heart so happy. So even though the cashew butters aren't my favorite, this one is really good. So you can't go wrong with any of the camping inspired series of American Dream Nut Butter. I will link the, I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off for you guys. They still have their Halloween flavors. Some are sold out, some aren't. So if you want to grab some of the Halloween flavors, they were also incredible. That is available still on the American Dream Nut Butter website. Now today I just have to decide what flavor I want to put on my rice cake. I'm thinking I want S'moreo. That's that layered almond butter. This one has eight grams of protein, nine carbs, and 12 grams of fat, and two tablespoons, 160 calories. What I normally do is just one tablespoon on my rice cake, so I'm going to weigh out one tablespoon of s'moreo, and that's going to go on my rice cake for my morning snack, so you guys will get another little peek at how delicious this nut butter is. 14 grams is a tablespoon. So I'm going to weigh out my 14 grams. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot, you guys, but it's actually a decent amount of nut butter. And you can spread that nice and evenly on a rice cake. You can lick the spoon, but be mindful of your portions. I never lick the spoon. I just go ahead and put it in the sink because that could be another half of a tablespoon or so here on the spoon. Look at how good that looks. I have mini marshmallows. I have a little chocolate bit. This is everything I needed in a morning snack. Lunch time, lunch time. Okay, it's lunch time. I'm making a ham and cheese quesadilla because it sounds amazing. So I have my little flaxseed wraps that I bought at Sam's Club. I'm just going to use one, fold it in half, make my quesadilla. I have some leftover diced ham from my meal prep when I made the ham and cheese scones. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that down below for you. I'm going to add some light shredded cheese. And then I think for a side, I need to get some veggies in. I'm gonna do some of my cucumbers. And then I bought this roasted red pepper hummus from Imperfect Foods. Oh my gosh, this roasted red pepper hummus is so good. It's so, so good. I'll link Imperfect Foods down below, you guys. There's free discount on your order. So I'm going to have cukes and hummus, and then I'm going to have some fresh raspberries. So let's make a ham and cheese quesadilla. 
Let me see how much ham I have here. That's one and a half ounces. I might use all the rest of this ham. Let's see how much that is. Okay, that's two and a half ounces. So I have 2.4 ounces of the diced ham. And then let's zero that out. And I'm going to do the entire quarter cup, which is 28 grams of the light shredded cheese. Okay, 28 grams. What I'm gonna do then is just kind of slide everything over to one side of my quesadilla. I like to kind of even it out a little bit so that I can easily fold over the other side for cooking. I'm going to spray my skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. Add my quesadilla, and I always like to kind of push down hoping that it will help it stick together a little bit better. I'm going to spray the other side so when I flip it over, it'll get nice and crispy. So here is my lunch. I mean, can we just talk about how amazing this looks? So I have my ham and cheese quesadilla, my two tablespoons of hummus, some cucumbers, raspberries. It's such a colorful, beautiful plate. I have my water. I'll go ahead and pop calories, protein points here on the screen for you, and I cannot wait to dig in. Quesadilla taste test. The ham and the cheese got so crispy. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I'm in my office working and Troy just texted me and is on his way home from golf. He's bringing me a coffee, which I'm very excited about, but he was saying on the phone how sore he is. If you guys didn't know, even a round of golf is hard for him to finish. Most of the weeks when he plays golf, he doesn't even finish his full round. He ends up just riding for the last few holes in the golf cart because it's just too hard on his body. And today he said that his legs, his lower back, just his body in general is hurting. And I told him that if he brought me home a coffee, I would give him a massage because I just bought a new massage gun. You know, you know that I've been working out really, really hard. And at boot camp, I am so incredibly sore for days. I mean, days. It starts the day I get home from boot camp and it continues for days and days. So I thought, what better time than now to pick up some type of massage tool? So I started doing a little bit of research and I found a YouTube channel with almost 5 million subscribers called Bob and Brad. They are physical therapists and they have a YouTube channel dedicated to physical health and physical therapy. Well, apparently they developed the Bob and Brad massage gun. And this is a little compact portable massage gun that comes in a case so you can even take it for travel. It was super affordable in price, has amazing, amazing reviews. So I picked it up. So I thought that I would share it with you guys and then we'll test it out. We haven't even tried it yet. We've just been so busy and with my injury and everything, I haven't needed it, but both Troy and I could use a little bit of massage, a little bit of physical therapy today. So I have the Bob and Brad Q2 mini massage gun. This is a pocket sized deep tissue massage gun. It's portable and it is chargeable by USB, which makes it super, super convenient. It's going to give you the highest quality muscle treatment with unparalleled portability. Compact but powerful, it's the most agile massage device that goes anywhere you do. Bob and Brad designed this for maximum ergonomic comfort and unparalleled portability, quick relief and relaxation that fits conven conveniently in your carry-on or backpack. It's a new propri proprietary brushless motor that's the most compact design ever. I did a lot of research and this was by far the smallest massage gun, which is what I wanted. I didn't want something big, bulky, and heavy. This weighs virtually nothing and is so compact and perfect to take on the go. It's a never before seen balance between power and size, making it a convenient option for getting the quality relief that your body needs, even on the go. It breaks up knots and relaxes tight muscles, digging deep to relieve hard to reach muscle groups. Like I said, it's USB chargeable, which is amazing. I just have mine plugged into my USB attachment to my MacBook. You can charge it in any USB outlet, including the ones on the lamps in the hotels. It offers deep tissue, massage and powerful pain relief on the go. There's five adjustable speeds and each speed delivers greater therapeutic benefits for the body. It's great for athletes, it's the size of a water bottle and you can tuck this tiny little portable massage gun 
anywhere. It targets every muscle group with the five different massage heads. After an injury or workout, your body repairs itself, but really slowly. The Q2 Mini Intense Vibrations provide immediate pain relief and wake up muscles throughout your body. I love that it has its own travel case. Everything fits nicely in there. All the different massage heads are great. I mean, depending on what part of your body you want to massage, what areas, what type of massage you're looking for, all of the heads are going to deliver deep tissue. And it was incredible. It felt so good to have a massage without having to work your hands to death. You don't need any massage oil. And again, you can take it with you anywhere on the go. Both Troy and I loved it. It is currently charging once again so that we can maybe give ourselves another massage a little bit later tonight. I will go ahead and link the Q2 mini massager from Bob and Brad down below for you guys with a discount code. So you can actually save money. You can purchase this right on Amazon. Free shipping ships right to your doorstep. Definitely, definitely can't recommend this enough. Hey, home, Palmer. Oh, is he home? Oh, I think Diesel thinks he's home too. Bolo's the only one that's not interested in getting up off the couch. Oh, is that home? Oh, Daddy's home, Bubba. Told you, told you, told you. I thought you died. It took so long for my coffee to arrive. So Troy brought me home a coffee from Duncan. All this is is an iced Americano with an extra shot of espresso. I'm going to pop in some of the sugar-free or no sugar added peppermint mocha from Coffee Mate. This is my favorite creamer ever. Like I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to put a couple tablespoons in here and I think I'm gonna have a Baby Bell cheese. Yes, I am. I'm going to have a white cheddar baby bell cheese for a snack as well. For tonight's dinner, I am making a skillet pot pie with biscuits. I'm actually really excited about this. Super, super comfort food, so let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders down below. We love these, they're from Amazon, super affordable. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, some type of broth, a small can of biscuits, whole milk, frozen mixed vegetables, potatoes, fresh celery, a couple of spices, parsley and thyme, an onion, and some chicken breast. I'm going to go ahead and chop up my potatoes, celery, onion, and chicken. So I have my Dutch oven over medium heat. I'm going to prepare everything in a Dutch oven so that we can put it into the actual oven to continue to cook. So I'm going to spray the bottom really well with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add in our diced up celery, onion, my little baby diced up potatoes and season it with a little bit of thyme. And then using a wooden spoon, we're going to stir consistently while these start to cook and soften. We're going to season our mixture with some salt and pepper. Add in a quarter cup of flour and then stir to get everything coated in the flour. We're going to stir until our flour is cooked. It's going to turn a light brown. That's how we know that the raw flour is cooked. So we wanna stir continuously until that is done and everything is coated really well in that cooked flour. Then we're going to add two and a half cups of broth and a quarter cup of whole milk. Grab out your whisk and whisk that until it starts to thicken from the flour. Then we're going to add in our frozen mixed vegetables, about a cup and a half total. And then parsley, whether you use dried or fresh. Give that a stir. We're going to actually allow it to come to a boil and that will allow the mixture to thicken completely. Go ahead and add in your diced up chicken and that will cook partially as well while it's boiling. Now we're going to take our can of biscuits and we're going to add those right to the top. And I went ahead and mixed up my egg and we're going to just brush them with an egg wash. That'll get them nice and brown and crispy. 
We're throwing our Dutch oven into a 400 degree oven and we're going to allow it to cook for about 25 minutes. We want the biscuits to be golden brown and of course make sure that our chicken and potatoes are cooked all the way through. There she is. Doesn't that look delicious? I did throw the top on my Dutch oven for about the last 10 minutes or so. This looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and serve it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, macros, and protein. So here is my dinner. I decided to go ahead and only have one biscuit and just focus on all the chicken and there's potatoes in there as well. I'll go ahead and put everything here on the screen for you, but this is tonight's dinner. So for dessert tonight, I'm making protein pudding. I've been loving this lately. It's been a really good way for me to get in protein, finish out my day strong with protein. It is actually the best thing to have prior to going to bed. So I've been utilizing this a lot as dessert. I've been making all types of concoctions. So if you guys wanna see more protein pudding recipes, let me know down in the comments and I'll include them a little bit more in what I eat in a days. But this one that I'm gonna to make tonight is one of my all time favorites. There's different ways to make protein pudding as well. Maybe we could do a whole video on protein pudding. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys wanna see. But tonight I'm going to make a chocolate fudge cookie protein pudding. So you're going to need three simple ingredients, a protein shake of your choice. I'm going to use Fairlife chocolate since I want this to be very chocolate. And then you'll need some sugar-free jello. I'm opting for the chocolate fudge sugar-free jello. And then I like to, once my pudding is set, I like to add in something for some crunch, something for some added sweetness. So we're gonna use these Chips Ahoy dessert toppings. And I'm going to stir a couple tablespoons of these in with my finished pudding. So you wanna make sure that you make this about a half an hour or so before you eat it so that your pudding has time to set up in the fridge. So let me show you, it is so, so simple to make. So you're going to pour your entire protein shake in a bowl and you wanna use a pretty good size bowl because this makes a lot. And then for the pudding, there's multiple recipes like I said out there. I find what works best for a really good consistency for the pudding is about two tablespoons of sugar-free pudding mix. I've seen some people put a whole pack in there and I feel like that's just way too much, way too thick. So I like to do just two tablespoons. And then just mix that together. Mix it really well. You wanna make sure all that pudding mixture is mixed in with your protein shake. Put the lid on it and throw it in the fridge for about a half of an hour. I also wanted to mention that one of my favorite ways to mix the pudding in really well with the protein shake is to use one of these little handheld frothers. I just buy mine off of Amazon. I'll link a good affordable one down below for you. me for today's what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my good food, the new American Dream Nut Butter, my bread box that I'm in love with, my massage gun, which I am also in love with. We're both in love with the massage gun and just enjoyed your day with me. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a what I eat in a day every Wednesday in five videos per week. Make sure your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. I will link everything I shared with you today down in the description box along with nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and don't forget come on over join our facebook group we'd love to have you happy wednesday and i'll see you in friday's weigh-in bye